Hello, my fellow Schneider compadres. So, as you know, I like to make videos of things that come up at the time. So, how many times have you picked up your load or picked up a trailer and you, you did your trip plan and you inspected the trailer and everything's going, you got your coffee and you you, you got your favorite song uh, on the radio and you're you're ready to hit the road and you and you go up to the gate and you go up to the gate and they say that trailer is marked for maintenance you have to go talk to the mechanics before we can let you go so you you're not able to leave with your trailer and hopefully this delay doesn't make you late but in my case it did make me a little bit late so what happened was the trailer, the loaded trailer that I was to go get live unloaded this morning, and I'm getting live unloaded right now, was marked out of service. And there's different levels of out of service. Some things are just like minor little things, and then some things out of service are really major. So you want to make sure and talk to a mechanic and make sure that they can look at the issue or look at the data on the, on the out of service declaration so anyway um, my load was to get live unloaded this morning at 8 I was about two and a half hours away I was in Portland um, I actually called the night before because on compass when you bring up if if you know what trailer it is you can bring up and look at the trailer and it'll say good condition uh, maintenance or out of service so I saw that it was out of service so the first thing I did was I called the DBL on duty and I said, hey, this is marked out of service. Am I going to even be able to leave the yard with this? And he said, oh, yeah, sure. I'll put it I'll put it in the notes. Uh, put it in the notes that you're going to deliver this load and come back. And so I was like, okay. So I went to bed, woke up, got up early, got up about 5 a.m. And got everything situated, got my trip plan, got my inspection, got everything ready to go. I'm getting ready to go out the gate. And they say, that trailer has a maintenance requirement on it and I was like oh I was like okay they're like you're gonna have to go talk to the mechanics so of course pain in the butt uh, there was somebody behind me so you know I put my hazards on honked the horn they re realized what was happening so I had to back out back out of there uh, parking was right across the way so I just backed it into a spot got out went and talked to the mechanics I'm like hey this trailer TA198950 has a maintenance. I talked to my DBL. He said that it was okay to take it as long as I brought it straight back to Portland. They didn't want me dropping it anywhere. So if you get another load, you have to call them and say, hey, I can't do this load because I'm supposed to take this trailer back. Okay, so I talked to the mechanic. He looked up the information to see why it was marked out of service. I didn't get that information. I should have asked, but I didn't get that information. He's on the computer. He's looking. He's like, mm, okay, okay, okay. And, uh, you know, it must have been something that wasn't, you know, that impactful. So anyway, he looks at it. He's like, okay. And he wrote, he wrote a message, a note with the trailer as well and sent it. And so he's like, okay. So, you know, I waited about five or ten minutes. I got back in the truck and went to the gate again oh sorry that trailer still has a uh is still marked for maintenance i was like Ugh. i was like and before i could say anything they just stopped talking to me so i, I started talking said uh, can you look at the notes associated with this trailer no response so backed out of there again called the DBL, luckily there was a, a DBL, Rich Ann was in the office there in Portland. I talked to her. She said that I you need to go talk to maintenance. I said, well, I already talked to maintenance. And she said, well, um, they have to send a note to the gate people or whoever, well, I don't know what you call those people, gate, gate masters. Anyway, so... I confirmed with the mechanics that that was indeed sent. So this is my third time trying to leave the yard. I pull up, and it's a different person at the gate. So the first two people, I don't know their names. I'm not going to call them out. Two people just told me, no, it had a maintenance 
the third guy said, oh, okay, uh, it shows there's a maintenance. And I said, yes. And he allowed me to, to explain the situation. I said, there should be notes associated with this trailer. And he's like, oh, let me check the email, check the email. And sure enough, there was all the messages. So sometimes when you're at the gate and, and you know you've done your part of it, you know you've talked to maintenance, you know you've talked to your DBL, you know you've done all those things, and they're at the gate and they're still saying, no, you can't leave. You might have to ask, you know, can you check the email? Can you refresh your screen? You know, can you, can you, you know, do a little extra? And then sometimes you can go, but not always. I'm sure we've all had that problem. Trying to trying to leave the the yard with a, a load a trailer that's uh, damaged out of service, uh, all kinds of other situations. But you're not the only one. So that's this morning's tale. And I am getting unloaded. Uh, and they had they had been putting um, other loads on me. And I had the first one was yesterday. They put a load on me, and I had to call in and say, hey. I can't do this load because I'm supposed to return this out of service trailer. And they're like, oh, okay. So they pull that off this morning. They're pulling another load on me. So I called in and said, hey, I can't do this load. I got to take the trailer back. Oh, okay. So, you know, these are, these are minor frustrations. It's not a big deal. Um, I think, I think communication, internal communication could be improved just a suggestion um internal communication but anyway that's it for right now a good looking truck. You wonder what the story was on this. Maybe somebody bought it, couldn't afford it. Who knows? This is the new lot for used trucks. And of course we've got more used trucks over there. They're probably going to move in more trucks because while they were building this, they're also paving this other area. This is back there, back there in front of those trees is where they used to have the used trucks. So they're probably going to have some back there too. Schneider Graveyard. There's been a, quite a few OCs that I've been to and they'll have a damaged truck out front for everybody to see. I don't know if it's a warning or working on this yard over here, repaving it. I think it's going to be full of used trucks. Seven gallons of water. I do not like paying for hardly anything. I don't like paying for laundry or showers or parking or food or anything. Water is one thing that I can avoid paying for. So I've got seven jugs I just fill them up for free at the Portland OC so now I have enough water for a few weeks maybe more I like water and coffee that's about it <laughs> 